Hello friends, welcome to this day that year. In this program, we talk about some of the very important historic event which happened on uh, this day, which is September 11th. Before we start our program, I would like to tell you upcoming masterclass which are available on our website, which is akulmag.com. And uh, there are several ma masterclass for CEOs, for senior executives, which are available on .com. Uh, and uh, here we have uh, one very interesting uh, masterclass which is for the business management and leadership uh, and if you are a manager wanting to grow in life and if you are a CEO wanting to grow your business you must join this workshop which is starting on October 10th. It's a 8 day program and uh, there is a promo code if you want to join there is an early bird uh, discount available using this promo code. So uh, friends, let's uh, move on to our uh, program today, which is this day that year. And today is September 11th. Let's find out what important incident happened on this day. Well, we all know uh, Ganges Khan he was the dictator and the conqueror from the Middle Asia, uh, Mongolia. But do you know that uh, how the name of the country Mongolia uh, was named? Well, this is about uh, his son. In the year 1229 on September 11th, Genghis Khan's son, his name was Mongolian Khan. He succeeded uh, Genghis Khan and acquired the reign from Genghis Khan and he basically became the ruler of the entire world, almost entire world because if you believe it or not, Genghis Khan was the biggest conqueror uh, known to mankind in the history. His empire uh, reigned from east to west up to the Europe and the entire uh, empire was taken over by Mongolian Khan uh, today on September 11th, 1229. And uh, you know, the country today is known as Mongolia. I don't think it's a surprise that how this country was named. So today, this is very interesting information about Mongolian Khan. Let's move to the next one. Well, this is again uh, 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 from uh, UK or rather Scotland. Uh, a very popular uh, personality in our history. His name was William Wallace. He was a Scotsman, Scottish, and he defeated the English army on the uh, bridge, uh, a bridge called Stirling Bridge. In fact, uh, I'm using this picture of the movie called Braveheart. The entire incident has been filmed very nicely in this movie called Braveheart. And uh, William Wallace uh, uh, is known for his valor and also his uh, uh, long sword, which is also known as Clement and uh, he defeated English army which was much more powerful than the Scots. Uh, later, after winning the battle, there was a treachery in his uh, team and uh, I think within few days of this victory, he was executed by his own member. Uh, so this is, you know, the irony of the situation. You know, he was a very brave man uh, and he defeated the enemy. He is also, uh, uh, you know, recorded uh, nicely as a very brave soldier in the history books. His name is uh, William Wallace and today on September 11th, 1297, he defeated the British. So let's move on to the next one. Next is uh, from India and we know our beloved uh, father of the nation, uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Actually, he started his... Uh, movement against the British in South Africa and uh, he actually transformed a new way of agitation which is known today as Satyagraha. In fact, he named that uh, non-violent movement as Satyagraha. The term Satyagraha was coined, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a movement which uh, involves uh, disobedience of the state but not violence, non-violent disobedience coined by uh, Mahatma Gandhi ji on September 11th in South Africa in the year 1906 and uh, using this tool or using this tactic or weapon, the Satyagraha, India also got independence from British, Purna Swaraj from British later in 1947. Let's move to the next one. 
we all play video games now the video games are available not only on our uh, mobile devices pcs but they are available everywhere i mean you play games and buy your uh, in the e-commerce you know buy your stuff in the e-commerce and if you go to social media there are so many games which are listed there but do you know how the game video game started the first video game was launched on september 11th in the year 1977 and this video game as you can see in this picture is nothing like today's video game it, it's like a box with a controller and you're supposed to connect your television set with this and uh, i think this is a sort of a predecessor of a ps series of sony or xbox from microsoft but this is how the first game looked like it is, uh, you know, it is uh, nothing like today's uh, video games. Uh, and this game was called the Atari video game. And uh, this is a bit of trivia for the video games buff. And uh, today is an important day because the world first video game was launched on September 11th in the year 1977. Let's move to the next one. Well, uh, we know that... Uh, our beloved uh, superstar of 70s, 80s, 90s and in till today in the 21st century Sri Amitabh Bachchan, a living legend also known as Big B. In the year 2001 on September 11th, he was coronated as the actor of the century by Alexandria Film Festival. I mean it's a big honor to become the actor of the century and this happened on September 11th uh, in the year 2001. So uh, we would like to uh, congratulate uh, Sri Abda Bachchan and uh, all of us, we are the fans. We feel very proud about this achievement. So uh, friends, uh, these are the uh, some of the key findings which happened today on uh, September 11th. And uh, you know, uh, before I take your leave, I would like to tell you that if you like our videos and the format uh, you can actually visit our website where we have uh, provided list of recommended gadgets because we have set up the studio by using these gadgets and we've already done a lot of uh, analysis what is the best what is optimum and if you are a avid video uh, producer or a streamer or a gamer you must go to this uh, list and probably pick up some of these things which you want for yourself you can visit the akulmap.com, uh, click on recommended gadgets uh, tab and if you want you can pick up, you can buy the stuff directly from the website or you can review them and uh, search what you need, uh, what is what works for you. So friends uh, with this I like to end uh, today's video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you again tomorrow in the next one. Bye bye.